I'd rather have him look at the hang power clean. So this next size, we're uh, starting from the, the mid thighs here, uh, exploding up to our shoulders. So I'll demo a couple reps, and then we'll talk about the technique. Uh, if you don't have a, a, a rack to take the bar off, you can just do a regular deadlift on the first rack, or on the first lift there to get it out of position. You're going to come into a power position, so I'm going to be in this position here, and, and exploding up from there. So just here. From there, I'll do a couple from the front. So this position here, elbows are locked. Uh, so this exercise is great for building explosive power, very famous. Um, if you are using it, a um, couple notes with this, you want to make sure you're very comfortable with the catch position. When you catch the bar, you need to catch the bar on your shoulders. You don't want to catch it in your hands. A lot of people will catch it here, and as a result, they put a lot of unnecessary stress on the wrist, or the shoulder joint takes the load. So you want the elbow up, so the bar is making contact here. In slow motion, what's happening, again, this is not some type of reverse curl. What's happening in slow motion is I'm exploding the weight up, shrugging, allowing the bar to be pulled up very close to my body. And then when it gets to about kind of low to mid chest height, what's happening is there's a rapid punching forward of the elbows as they go and rotate underneath to catch the bar. If you do it right, it should be a very smooth sequence. Sometimes we'll see people catch too late and the bar will kind of come up and then plunk down on them. You want to come through here and then a really quick punching through the elbows. Uh, Joe Ken, a very famous strength coach from the States, has said, uh, kind of think with a clean of jump and punch. So I have explosive jump and I'm punching the elbows forward. Okay? And again, if you can't get a good catch position on the shoulder, uh, you want to use another variation of Olympic style lifting. This is not a good one for you uh, if you can't get that catch position. On the way down, uh, if you have bumper plates, one option is dropping them. So if you have bumper plates in a gym that let you do that, you can just let it drop. Uh, if not, what you're going to want to do is kind of unrack and again go fairly control drop so to speak and then kind of cushion the blow uh, or the load with your thighs at the bottom. Okay? And that's the hang power.